So I had a couple people hit me up uh, to do a video or to give them a wiring diagram for the LED lighting. <clears throat> and that's what this is right here. Um, so to give you an idea of what's going on, on the bottom where you have the green, light gray, and black. So you have your you have your your main power come in, your power cord. It comes in the hot goes to the common connector on the five volt relay. And then you have a wire going from the the other side of that, the NO port on the five volt relay to the line in on your 12 volt power supply. And then you have your neutral coming from your power cord, go straight to the 12 volt power supply. And then you have your ground from your power cord going straight to the 12 volt power supply. Then you have a separate five volt power supply that you can use for, um, like you use for a cell phone charger. And you take the power from that, you take, you pigtail a hot or the black, or the, which is the ground on DC. It's a five volt DC power supply. You take two, you have to split off the ground where one ground goes to the other side of the five volt relay to the DC ground. And the other connection from the 5-volt power supply ground goes to the 5-volt external negative ground on the DIG quad or the DIG Uno or the DIG uh, Octa, Octo, Oct, can't remember what it is, the A-channel one that, they, that, he's, that he's now doing. Okay, then you have your 5-volt hot or positive, 5-volt DC, it splits twice in the two runs one goes to the five volt positive on the five volt relay and the other side of the five volts go to the five volt external positive on the dig quad then you have to run a wire from the q1r connection on the dig quad to the input connection on the five volt relay that is your signal that triggers the five volt relay to turn on your 12 volt power. Then you have your dig quad has a power coming from the 12 volt uh, power supply and then a negative coming from the 12 volt power supply. And then of course on the outside you have your um, positive, negative, and, and um, data signals for your LEDs. Whether you're using a data booster or not, uh, there are these little, I can't remember what they're called, but there, there are these little, um, oh, I bought some of them and they're a, they're, they're like a little data booster that's really small. Uh, I haven't tested them to see how they work, but, uh, the data booster is not good for more than, uh. I think 10 meters. So, you know, they don't, they don't boost a really long signal. So that's, it's your choice. If you're going to try them. The other data boosters I haven't tested, so I'm not really sure. I am just sticking with 500 LEDs per channel on the dig quads. So this is the, um, wiring diagram. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, any ideas, whatever we just had to, I just had to get something written up because a lot of people was asking for a wiring diagram. Um, comment in the bottom, subscribe. I'll talk to you all later.